Hey y'all, I was gonna show you my uh, plants. This is cabbage, and this is a three by six raised bed. Um, so I've got six cabbage heads in there with just a few little marigolds that were spotty coming up. I'm gonna add some dirt to this. Um, this is broccoli, and I just um, just planted these too and watered them. And they were actually very, all these were really sick looking plants because they were at Walmart and they, they um, needed some love. So I went ahead and bought them at a discount, brought them home, planted them. I've got to add some dirt to this because this is where I have my tomato plants and my onions. And I'm going to add some dirt to it and amend the soil a little bit. But I went in and planted them, and that's been two days, and I've watered them both days really good. And honestly, they look, they look so good, I think. I think they look really good. So we'll see how they do. I'm going to get busy and add some dirt to these, and then I'll show you what I'm going to do next. I'm going to walk down and get some dirt. We just bought this at Lowe's. They had it on sale. I've had such a hard time finding dirt, uh, good dirt for my raised beds. Um, in this town, there's nothing, and Walmart didn't have any dirt whatsoever. I don't know of a place to get bulk dirt, so I'm just working with this. So, all I'm gonna do to this is amend the soil just from the where they'll have the nutrients that the tomatoes took out of it and um, it'll replace those nutrients sweet hunters out fishing and i wanted to wait till it was cooler but then i li listened to the weather and the weather says rain's coming tomorrow i don't know how true that is but um thunderstorms so i want to get this done so i'm just gonna dirt dump this in I figured I'll only take this one bag, so all this, it'll take for in here. But we'll see. Y'all see the boat going out? Let's see. It's Labor Day weekend, and I'm really, really surprised there's not more boats out. I don't know if you can see that or not. But, not because of the weather. I have. We don't get the news anymore. We got rid of our. Uh, dish and um but we don't even get local news anymore we only watch youtube and that's our favorite anyway this little cabbage right here doesn't look like it might make it but hey i got them at a discount the bonnie i think it's bonnie plant guy was there and uh i just i just asked for a discount that's just what i do because they looked pitiful so, hopefully they'll make it. If they don't, it was not much money. And I need to amend the soil anyway. Sweet Hunter gave me orders what to do with these plastic bags. We got a new um, mattress today for our bed. And uh, there's a lot of plastic to go with that. So I'm going to add all these uh, plastic bags that I'm working with today to that and get it in the trash can. This is broccoli, like I told you. Love it. It's uh, easy to grow, likes cool weather. It needs to cool down for us right now. Y'all wanna know the real me, this is the real me. I'm used to a big garden on the farm and uh, this, is, this has took some getting used to, but honestly, I am really, really loving these raised beds. I really am. Um, I hardly had any weeds.
off that flower there. And a lot less work. A friend of mine, they have raised beds and we went and saw what those and oh it inspired me so much I'm hoping we see sweet hunter go by here he went down toward the bridge he caught a lot of fish last night um, I think it's just been too hot he hasn't done too well and he hasn't fished a lot but he caught several last night, so he was tickled to death. Uh, he usually goes at night when the heat's not so bad. So all I'm trying to do is get just the soil amended. Uh, I was telling you about my friends. They set up two uh, raised beds. Actually, I'm copying them. I got a, a bed from, uh, from Amazon, just like theirs. Hope they don't mind. Um, but... Um, Theirs is great. They have a watering system and everything. I just still use a water hose. So I think that's all I'm gonna do in these beds. Um, it's just amend the soil. I gotta get this plastic put up, Sweet Hunter's orders. So as I was telling you, I copied my friends and they know it. Uh, they tell me how, what to order and everything, even down to the watering system. But like I say, I haven't done that. But when I put, when a Sweet Hunter put my bed together, where I'm fixing to show you, it was unlevel, twisted because of the ground being unlevel. So I'm gonna put some boards under it and try to fix it like that. Of course, Sweet Hunter wanted to dig out the dirt and everything. I'm not going there. I'm doing it the easy way. So here's the raised bed. I've already got one board under the back part of it. Um, to try to level it up. The lady we got the house from, she already had this landscape fabric down. I wouldn't have it down if if it worked, that it was already there. I wouldn't put that. I would probably put cardboard because it deteriorates. That's what I did on the other beds is cardboard. So I don't know if y'all can see this or not. The wind's blowing, so it must be blowing up a rain. But it's this back side lower. I've already got one board under it. He wanted to have somebody dig all that out. I don't want to go to that trouble. Well, I'm just lifting this up. Isn't this the neatest bed? It was a lot cheaper than our um, than our wood ones. I, I love my wood ones and it's also bigger. It's a foot longer and um, let's see it's a foot longer and it's um, a foot wider I think. So I don't know if this is gonna work or not. He may be right. I need to put something on that end, I think. So, I went up and got some more boards. Sweet Hunter would just die how I'm doing this. Um, my friend's husband would too, probably. But it is what it is and I wanna get this done. So, I got another board to put under here just to level this out. I don't know how this can work, but I'm not digging out the dirt. How about y'all? Are y'all? I'm not. And yes, I'm going to patch up the holes that are showing where the dirt won't leak out. I'm telling y'all, this is going up and down this hill. I have a big hill to go up and down to the building to get wood. Let's see if I can show you that. You really can't tell how big it is, but it, it's a tall, tall hill and it goes up in the woods and uh, we've only got about almost two acres here. And uh, I'm gonna show you what to do with two acres because uh, you can have race beds, you can have chickens. Uh, we are in the city, but they allow chickens here. I won't get a rooster, um, but I'm excited about that. I may wait till next spring to do that, I don't know. Uh, it's just according to, to what happens this winter. I have to take my glove off to do this. Then I have to put my glove back on to handle 
the work. It's crazy. All I'm doing is trying to fill in the holes. And like I say, Sweet Hunter would just probably die. But I think I have got it leveled up. I think I might have something, put something there. But it'll fill up that hole. And then it's got a little hole over here that I'm going to seal up with this. I think y'all know what this is called. It's, it's called do, do it with what you have. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting this dirt in because I have some cauliflower and Brussels sprouts to put in here. Let's see if I move y'all back. I've been up and down that hill so many times. But I'm thankful for it. I think this is the neatest bed and I'm, I'm really excited about it. I want to thank our friends for telling us about it and showing us their awesome beds. It's really, really neat. I've got some chicken litter I'm going to put in here too. The bed because it is September the 2nd today and I need to get these fall plants in. I didn't have a whole lot of a, a summer garden. <coughs> Excuse me. Not a big one. Well, I didn't get a lot of stuff is what I'm saying. And I'm gonna order at least one, maybe two more of these beds. We were lucky enough to find this dirt today we've looked everywhere this is bags I can handle not too big but not too little I think it's a cubic foot and uh, it's just bags I can handle sweet hunter helped me unload it It gives him joy to eat the stuff out of the garden, but it doesn't give him joy to do all, all this and plant it and stuff. But uh, he does whatever he can to make me happy, so that makes me happy. Actually, it makes him happy. If mom ain't happy, nobody's happy. So I'm not gonna waste your time showing you all this. Um, I'll probably, when I get through, I will show you me planting the Brussels sprouts and the cauliflower. They're very, very tiny plants, but it's time to put them out and you gotta hurry to do it because the nights are getting a little bit cooler. And if it's really gonna rain tomorrow, I really want them out here. The rain from the Lord's heaven is so much better than dirt that you, uh, I mean, from, uh, better than water. So, I've about finished that half. Of course, when it rains, it will settle that down. That'll give me room for the chicken uh, litter manure. But I found these pieces right here. Let me show you. Up in the woods that Sweet Hunter had saved, I guess, from remodeling the house. And I do have a little hole right here. So I don't want the dirt to go out of that hole. So I'm gonna stick it in there and then cover it with dirt, it ought to be fine. It ought to be just good. I love this, y'all. I just love it. I love playing in the dirt. One of my friends said that the other day, there's nothing like getting your hands in the dirt. And it's so true. It's so true. Sweet Hunter loves fishing and hunting. And I love both those things too, but this is my joy. And I believe this is even more than cooking. And I love cooking. Let me get some more bags. If I didn't tell you, this is from Lowe's dessert. It's called, it, the brand is Stay Green. I don't know that I've ever heard of that, but it's vegetable and garden soil. Flower, veg, and vegetable, and garden soil. 
So I figured that'll cover all the bases. It does have fertilizer in it, time release fertilizer. And it was one cubic bag, which I wanted because I can handle those myself. And I like to do things myself. I'm just that way. Um, I don't like to depend on others, although I have to sometimes. Um, but the way we figured it in the store is this being an eight by four bed, then it took uh, about 32 cubic feet, I believe. Now you may say that that's not worth it. And granted, it may not be to you, but it is to me because it gives me so much joy in growing something. Um, I'm hoping to get a grow light and grow my own seeds instead of buying plants like I did this year, already done. I've got a sunroom. I don't, it's not very big, but for what all I need to be, I need it to be a, a, a den, a sunroom, and a uh, dining room. <laughs> so, but I'm hoping that's where I put my grow lights and then they can get daylight heat, uh, light too. So I had to get me something to drink. If y'all came to here to get to see something pretty or no work or a perfect place, you came to the wrong place. You might as well turn the channel. <laughs> but I'm hot. Um, it is. It has cooled down. Um, I was trying to remember what I was telling you about the 32 cubic foot. I like about four more bags in this raised bed. Now when it does rain, it will pack it down and I'll need some more. I may sneak off to Lowe's tomorrow. They're only having this sale for, uh, I think it's seven days total and today this is the second day. We were lucky to find it. Um, it's three for ten dollars and honestly that's really good right now. Things are different and um, than they used to be and um, <clears throat> I, I can find no bulk dirt around here. Um, the one time I did, they brought me chicken litter, which it ended up being fine, except we had to smell it a few days, but it does work for a great fertilizer, and I will mix some in there. So I'm gonna finish this drink. I'm gonna finish these four bags. I'm gonna go get my plants and get those in the ground and water everything. As y'all can see, this cauliflower is not much. It takes about, probably about 80 days for this to start from seed. I did not do this from seed. I bought this at a real good discount because it's so leggy. Um, I'm gonna plant these first. I've got my bed done, except for when I mend the soil with some chicken compost. And uh, this actually has fertilizer in it, so, um, you know, that isn't a problem right now. It's a time relief. I believe I told y'all that. So the cauliflower should be around uh, 18 to 24 inches apart. I'm just trying to pinch these out. I mean, I can't hurt them. I got a deal on them. So I'm just going to take this, plant it, and I'm trying to get that leggy part down in there pretty good because that makes it weak, it being leggy. And the reason it's leggy is because it hasn't got enough sunlight probably at the store. And um, also, they, they just don't take care of the stuff out there. They don't water it and stuff. But I'm just kind of eyeballing this. And um, I want plenty of room where they have plenty, because they get big. You'll be surprised how big they get. Um, if these grow, if not, I had I think I have a couple of dollars in all these plants. Um, thankfully, I I caught the guy there that was doing them, and um, and got a deal on the ones. They just throw them away. Isn't that crazy? They throw them away, and uh, I wanted them to give them to me, but we were in our smaller car. And um, so I couldn't beg for them too much because uh, I, I didn't have room for them. But if I had been there at the right time with uh, the right car or the truck, I probably would have got those free. So this is the cauliflower, I believe. Did I say cauliflower? 
Yes, that's the cauliflower, and this is the Brussels sprouts. If you haven't ever grew Brussels sprouts, they're so fun. Well, all of it's fun, but I love to grow Brussels sprouts. These look a little bit better than the cauliflower, so I did good with them in my big garden. It's Friday night, Labor Day weekend, so the boats and the sea dews have started coming in. Um, it's very seldom busy here at all, um, except the holiday. We try not to go out on the holidays because there's crazy drivers out there. I'm going to have uh, spinach. I may go get the seed for that. I've got seed for that. And um, lettuce. I'm going to do herbs, but they won't be in here. Well, I'm standing right in front of y'all. So one, two, three, four, five. So I think I'll take this one back here back. Put it toward the middle. I do want to save these because when I do my grow lots, I'll plant seeds in that. So this is the spinach I'm going to plant, and I'm going to get that in now before I water. Um, this is a big leaf spinach. Uh, it takes about 45 days from when you plant the seeds um, to harvest. And when you harvest, you just cut it off the top, use it in a salad, saute it, whatever you want to do. Use it in a, a casserole, just whatever you want to do. And then... Um, um, it will just keep growing. So, here's what I, I'm thinking about this spinach, is that I may just do it right down this middle. Just go ahead and make me a little ditch, and it'll be right here in this middle, and it'll, it'll grow on both sides. Uh, I'm just going to sprinkle the seeds right down here. It is hard to do anything with gloves, but I do have my nails painted. big garden I did the same thing. I like to do them thick. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use these scissors and finish this row right here. We will have spinach in a little over a month. Another thing I love is hummingbirds. Oh my goodness, I love them. I've been filming them in the evenings. And uh, they are so cool. We've got about 10 here. We did not have that many. Uh, we got about 10 right now. See, I'm making sure and wetting this spinach. That's what'll make it germinate. I think that's the word. Y'all, I just learned by doing, and I love to share. I've got a son-in-law that loves to do this too. He doesn't get to do it as much as I do because he works full-time, has a family, but he does love it. He'll send me pictures of his hummingbirds and his tomatoes. I love it. Love it, love it. I did. I'm probably going to add onions on the ends, and I'm going to add onions up in my beds up there, too. Uh, I'll probably come out and water these in the morning. Also, if it doesn't rain, water is the key. Water is the key. You do not have to take your soil out every year. You just add to it. I love this area. Sweet Hunter picked the place for these. These are my little wood raised beds. They're three by sixes. So I have cauliflower. I have cauliflower and I have Brussels sprouts down in the new beds. 
and I've got broccoli in this one, and I've got cabbage in that one. And y'all will be really surprised, although you think I've got a lot of money in these, and, and I do, you'll be real surprised what these beds will make. I don't know if y'all can see these um, pots that I've got up here, but uh, this is lilies, and they're fixing to bloom again for the second time. This is a plant that just, uh, what is that, wondering you? Tell me what that is if you know. Um, it, it actually, a pot fell out here off of a place where I had it hanging up, and see if I can get you where I can see you. And, um, it dropped on the ground and it's right up there and it's all purple. I don't know if you can see that or not. But anyway, I started picking it up and just throw it in the pot. I've got another pot up here hanging on the tree that I've started putting it in. This will come back next year. It's not supposed to, but it will in the pots. Um, I love these. I think they're beautiful. I got a picnic, area, a picnic table up here in this area. That trash can right there is just drying out. It's where I keep my bird seed. Um, see my picnic area I've got a cross out there I don't know if y'all can see that or not and a swing that's got to be put up I don't know how that video may just twirling you around like that is gonna do this right here this right here is the pot that broke see it's broke I just it's got some left over in there and I've been throwing some more up in there and uh, I just been keeping it watered and then it's all over the ground I'll try to show you this and it's just rooted all over the ground all around this tree and it usually comes back next year these are some mums I hope you can see these that the lady that lived here that we bought the house from she had and they were sitting on the uh, deck I didn't like them on the deck I have not cut these back I need to but it's time for mums, and I'm hoping that they will start blooming more. These over here, let's see if we can get you some of these. These, I'm having to pull my hose up. These right here are blooming, but there's a lot of dead that needs to be took away. I just set these here. Behind here is where I'm gonna have my chickens. I'm very excited about that. Don't know if I'll get to it this year, but I for sure will get to it in about February. So, let's see. I'm sorry, I'm not doing a good a job fil filming. But I'm just excited to be out here with y'all and taking y'all along with me. This is truly a reason that the verse in the Bible, oh my goodness, where is it? Psalms 37, four maybe? I have to look that up. Forgive me if I'm wrong that it says he will give you the desires of your heart and um, for a long time after we left the farm i was kind of um, um, lonely for it i missed it um, not all the work because we did it on the big scale but i'm getting a little of it back on a smaller scale that we can do for our age uh, and things that we enjoy and um, i'm very very thankful for that I put an orchid in that barrel over there. I don't know if you can see it. That barrel. I can't move the thing. It's so heavy. I need to take that orchid out before winter. It honestly was about to die, and it, I just had it outside, and it's really doing good in here, but I am not leaving that. That'll probably full of lettuce right there. I will put that in a pot. I just haven't got it done yet. Many boats, but there's a few. Couple. Isn't that beautiful? This is my cross that I brought from the farm. It's crooked. I got to straighten it up. But all these pots, uh, Sweet Hunter's got to drill holes, or me, I can do it too. And I'm gonna fix this bed into something. It's got some rose bushes and a hosta that I planted over here. But I want to clean it out and, and get it all shaped up next year. Now 
As you can see, all the plastic bags are down here at the um, raised beds. I gotta go get those up before he gets in. And I think my new bed looks great. What do y'all think? I love it. This is a perfect view from the sunroom. I'll have to show you that when it grows a little bit. And then I'll span around here. You can see the picnic table. There's my other raised beds. Our little building up there in the woods. And behind there is where the chickens will go. And I'm going to be able to see them from the house. So I'm real excited about that. But isn't this beautiful? God is so good. Now look, I got a whole barbecue. So I always forget to say my name. I'm Val with Our Forever Farm. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Y'all have blessed us so much and we're so thankful that you're part of our family. And that's what YouTube is, it's a community, it's a family. I love it. If you're looking for something, like somebody told me the other day, have you ever made a potato soup? All you have to do is go on my page, search for, um, and you can search for potato soup, Our Forever Farm, and you'll find it. I'm fixing to do a new recipe, actually two. One's another soup that my mom made in a, in a another potato soup that I ate at a restaurant, and I'm gonna do a copycat. I'm gonna finish this up Bye again. I think I see Sweet Hunter coming in. Hey, Sweet Hunter. Hi. Did you catch anything? No. Nothing? Nope. That's not good. Still fishing, Good for you. Have fun, I'm going to get a shower. <laughs>